enjoyed that last segment when we talked to the Durham Gators. It was a fun time with those kids. I know Mrs. Marky Mark, we had a good time talking with them. They're fine. But, yeah, awesome exactly. Kids, yeah. But now we're gonna talk about all about the Raptors, man. Raptors are still they're still playing well. They're pretty hot. I know they had a slow start, uh, not a slow start, but they lost some few games here and there, some close games. But Mark, Mark, what what should we talk about uh, for the Toronto Raptors? We always want to kind of get it because I know a lot of our guests here are big Raptor fans. Or they watch them closely. We want to get some thoughts so far. What have you watched about the Raptors? What are your thoughts about them lately? Oh, oh, oh yeah, they are they're playing well actually. Um, they're what are they, fourteen and four? Yeah, around fifteen, mm. fifteen, 15, wins. 15 yeah. wins. What that like? And then yesterday's game against the Hawks, they they they, they stepped it up even without Ka and Ka being without Kawhi is like on those back to backs. Mm -hmm. That's surprising. Mm -hmm. And they've been winning. And they've been winning. Mm -hmm. And not, not close games. Some yeah. of them are like double digits. So like, like yesterday. They're, yeah, they're, <laughs> that playing, game. Yeah. they're playing in some like next level basketball. They're playing. So um, I'm, I'm quite surprised. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I've never like, when, last year it was a back to back. It's usually a loss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't matter they'll be who tired, wins, yeah. or they'll be tired. And but these guys have the energy, mm -hmm. and I credit. I also credit Nick Nurse because he's rotating his guys. Mm -hmm. He's using They're everybody. Always fresh every game. Every There's fresh, no yeah. skip a beat. There's no one skipping a beat. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So he's like, I see Malachi playing like. Dwayne Casey wouldn't play. No, he wouldn't Malachi. play. Yeah. He wouldn't play Malachi. Lorenzo Brown. Lorenzo Brown, like, exactly. Making... Yeah, even Greg Monroe's out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like these guys are playing on on the second half on the back to back. So, mm -hmm. I credit Nick Nurse's uh, approach to how he's coaching the Raptors uh, mm -hmm. this season, and that probably is uh, help. That's why they're probably where they are right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a coach, a coach to coach, what do you think of what Nick Nurse has done so far as a new coach? Like that what work, your coach's that perspective. That worked so well for the Raptors. Yeah, yeah. so uh, like, like I said, like his rotations and like, and he's, he's playing situational basketball. Mm -hmm. So he, I, I, I could tell he analyzes the matchups. Mm -hmm. Like when, when, last year, I noticed when Casey was coaching, not to knock on Casey or anything like yeah. that. <laughs> um, we ha we always, he always wrote the same guys. Mm -hmm. This year, like when it was crunch time, we'll see um, OG, mm -hmm. sometimes we'll see Fred, Fred. Yeah. we'll see a uh, we'll see a mixture, we'll see Norman sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, or well, and sometimes. the bigs will be mixed as well. You sometimes you'll get Ibaka Siakam, or you get JV Siakam, or Ibaka and Siakam. Exactly. That's a yeah, it was in like we were you would only see uh, last year JV and um, Ibaka, mm -hmm. now it's Ibaka or Siakam. Sometimes they'll put uh, Siakam, four, yeah, yeah four, Siakam and, uh, five, yeah. and Kawhi. Yeah, yeah. So it's like at the four and the five. So it's he's he's analyzing the matchups and which is uh, which is great. Like and I and I'm not throwing my remote at the TV because I was like, <laughs> why is this guy on the court? That's it's true. It's uh, the matchups. He's he's analyzing it and I and I like what I see and especially the way Kyle Lowry's playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's um he's playing well. Um, I what thought, is something that is done differently from last year as opposed to this year that have made him you know? Successful, and I think he's probably the more valuable Raptor so far, even with Kawhi, because he's winning games for them. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I feel the same way. I think his, he's making better decisions. Um, mm -hmm. He's passing the ball more. He, the ball is moving. Um, mm -hmm. not, there's not many iso balls, mm -hmm. iso basketball. It's, it's more team basketball. Mm -hmm. Like, I see the driving kick to Danny Green or uh, maybe Kawhi, like, mm -hmm. uh, like 17 assists yesterday. Mm -hmm. Like, he just... Easy triple-double. Yeah, yeah. He, easy. And... And even JV's getting the ball more. So mm -hmm. when when he when he's giving the ball to JV, I seen JV like I think he averages like 20 minutes a game, and he's getting a double double. Yeah. And he's coming off the bench. And he's coming off the bench. Yeah. You think he's been the most efficient off the bench yeah. player? I mean, close to uh, Lou Williams in terms of production off the bench. Yeah. Just because like they only utilize him under 20 minutes, and yeah. he's getting that much out of him. Mm -hmm. Which is good for him because in terms of you know defensive liability, he could get there once you play him too many minutes. But if you only play him with that couple, you know, certain stretch of minutes, and you get the most of out of him, and you get guys Ibaka or Siakam off yeah. the bench, yeah. that's just you know. Yeah. No, exactly. Like uh, JV's like that, and that's probably why the Raptors are where they are right now because mm -hmm. he's only getting 20 minutes, unlike he was getting like 30. But it's uses yeah in terms of how they use yeah. him on that 20 yeah. minutes has yeah. been a big difference. Oh, yeah. 
I think, yeah, Nick, well, Nick Nurse has found a way to uh, substitute properly when it comes to having either surgery, but, well, he, he, he kind of avoids it from what I see, except for, like, when the matchup is right, whenever he wants Sergi Baca and Jonas Valanciunas on the same court at the same time. Yeah. Because he'll definitely want either Siakam on, mix and match with JV and Ibaka, not, he doesn't want, he, like, he wants to try to avoid the C Ibaka and JV, which, I mean, it still works at times, but... They I did mean, it against the, the Hawks. They exactly, had Ibaka yeah. and... Yeah. It just, it yeah. does, it depends on the matchups if yeah. it's right. And mm -hmm. I know you talked earlier that Coach Casey last year, he rode the he he said it before, he rode whoever's hot. Like say if Fred Lee, Fred Van Vliet was shooting a lot of threes and getting the points, he'll ride him all the way to the fourth quarter. But with Nick Nurse, he'll have he'll have Fred Van Vliet shooting poorly, I think, a few games ago, but still have him on the court because I think the matchups were right. Mm -hmm. And that's what he he believes in himself. I know there's some points where uh, Nick Nurse hasn't uh, been successful with late game situations, but it's not. I think it's a knock on him. It was just a knock on players. He's 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 still doing a great job. Mm -hmm. It's just with that one time Detroit Pistons, there was just no communication, and that's not his fault. It's just exactly. it happens, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think Nick Nurse he's, he's still growing to be a better yeah. coach. Yeah, exactly. Of, of I mean, there's been a lot of improvements this uh, this season for the Raptors. But yeah. of all the players, who has who has been the most impressive to you as a player this season in terms of how they played? Oh yeah, I, there's a couple. Yeah. Um, First, I'm going to say Siakam, because when Siakam first started, he was raw. He mm -hmm. was... He we didn't was, know what he could be. But there are people saying he could be Draymond Green, but what have you seen from him so well, far? Well, he's, he's got a jump shot. He, mm -hmm. I've seen him hit a couple of threes. Mm -hmm. um, last year, he wasn't really consistent. Mm -hmm. um, this year, I could see he's got the... Like, he could hit, he could hit it. Like, he... And I can tell from his form, it's it's better. He's spotting up. It's getting up. better. It's getting yeah, better. It's yeah, getting he's better. spotting mm -hmm. up. And, uh, he knows where to, and he knows where to position himself. Mm -hmm. And plus, his... Um, I know he had this before, but he's moving better without the ball. Exactly. Yeah, he's moving better with like Kyle Lowry. Like your neighbor drives a lane, he'll find that open open spot on the court, mm -hmm. and he'll be there, and Kyle will find him, mm -hmm. and then he'll end up in a dunk or a, a three. <laughs> yeah. Like he, he knows where to he knows where to be. And I think he's in top five in field goal percentage this year. Yeah. That's impressive. And then my other one would say Kyle Lowry. Mm -hmm. Like the way mm -hmm. he's moving the ball, the way like his assist, like leagues to league in assist, mm -hmm. and then just got a triple double yesterday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Especially with his best friend, the Marta Rosen guy, mm -hmm. I, I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. It was either it was either a hit or a miss. And right now he's hitting. He's he's on the, he's on the he's on the ball right now. And mm -hmm. it's working. It's working with yeah. without Demar, sadly. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, it's it was gonna happen either way. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. how about you? Who you who been out of all the players? I mean, we have a lot of players to talk about who have been impressive so far. To you, who has been the year? Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with uh, Pascal Siakam and Kyle Lauer just because Pascal Siakam, he's been moving the ball a lot more whenever he gets a pass because he's, he's a passer like Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. Dr yeah, that's a great comparison with Draymond Green. He's just a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. um, but Pascal ac can actually bring up the ball as well. So having Kyle Lowry as a shooter, um, during that, fir that first five starting lineup. So Pascal puts up the ball and they have Kyle Lowry on the, sh on the shooter. Um, and then Kyle Lowry, I mean, yeah, his assists have been going up and up and up. Uh, it just, he's finding more people. He is trying to find more people to like, pass on instead of having DeMar DeRozan, uh, that one main guy to pass up and then DeMar DeRozan go to work. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are some points where he gives it to Kawhi Leonard and Kawhi Leonard does make the, does, uh, make the same decisions as DeMar, but Ka Kawhi Leonard can actually still pass off whenever it needs to, and the pass is right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's, it's only late game situations where, I mean, it's, that's, that's totally understandable. What late game situations want to slow it down and make that game winning shot, and then Ka Kawhi Leonard could probably take that take as well. Home. Yeah. But to me, my underrated player, uh, surprisingly, out of you know, the season so far, has been Danny Green to me because uh, they needed that shooting guard position to be defined in terms of you need someone that can shoot, not afraid to shoot, no matter how hot or cold they are, yeah. but can play on the other side of the court. Because they had that in CJ Miles, but CJ Miles was a defensive liability to them. So to, to get someone like Danny Green out of that trade, everyone's going off on the Kawhi. Oh, we're getting Kawhi. But people underestimated what they got from Danny Green because uh, the, the last season that he had was pretty underwhelming. And he just got a revival season so far here at the Raptors because his role was defined. Get that, you know, be on that wing. The moment it gets kicked out, shoot. And, and, and he's been knocking three ball down and he's playing defensively on both ends of the court. That's a really good thing to have for them because 
now Lowry can get off those screens and can switch with Danny Green not having to be you know worried about the defensive switches yeah. or any liability because before they had DeMar and Lowry so any of those switches when it gets to DeMar he's not as great of a defender as as Green is so that's that's a really good plus and a help for Lowry so then he can switch off of those screens mm -hmm. yeah. and what do you think about the championship uh, contention? Do you think What's, the Raptors can go far? What do you think is their ceiling? What do you think? Yeah, I, I I think they can. Um, mm -hmm. After I saw the like the, the Boston loss and the Boston win, mm -hmm. I, I I'm I'm thinking this team this team could do it. Um, yeah. They and the the the, the destroy of the Lakers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, like I think this team I think this team has the potential of to go to mm -hmm. the finals and. Uh, had it head to the uh, and like not really breeze through the east like mm -hmm. how Cleveland did it, mm -hmm. but they're they're gonna they're gonna be a challenge for a lot of teams this year and they're gonna be in the running even with Philly getting Butler, mm -hmm. I still think the the Raptors are still deeper than teams like Philly and then and Milwaukee. Right, mm -hmm. I agree. Hey man, it's a lot. It's a long season. We got still plenty of games to go. See what the Raptors can do. Hopefully, we wish them well. Uh, wish them. Hopefully, all the injuries can actually become healthier and they have a full squad to play together. Dwayne, any last words before we end the show? You got any shout outs you want to give out? Yeah, shout out to like the my legacy family, my Bond family, uh, my family. <laughs> uh, to you guys, you guys are doing a great job. Where Pat, Patrick, where are, you, where are you at, buddy? We need you here, man. But, uh, Meet him at the court, man. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to you guys. You guys are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. um, well done. I want to give you guys a shout out at Montreal where you guys were hosted and um, doing the games live. And mm -hmm. that was a great job on your end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, thank, thank you again for having me. It was, uh, it's always been a pleasure. No problem. Thanks for coming on. Mr. Mark, Mark, any last words? Uh, other than that, I mean, we're getting some great coaching advice. Exactly, we're getting yeah. everything from Pinar Crossover. And from you guys, fans, thank you for following us, commenting, and keep subscribing and keep following us. Pinar Crossover, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. And other than that, stay balling, guys. <laughs>